Hey, this is Ryan. This is Christian. And we're in group love, and you're at Popularity. What's been among the coolest moments so far throughout this journey? Um, recently, it was last night. Yeah. We played a really fun sold out show in Seattle. Over, really overall, I'd yeah. say just uh, kind of just kind of realizing this very unexpected uh, fate, I guess, uh, which is what it's become of just the way we, we all met and um, and are now sort of connected uh, at the hip at all times. And, you know, it was a totally random uh, meeting experience and all strangers before and now, you know, doing this a, a year and a half later. It's, uh, that's the most exciting thing to me is that like something like that can actually happen. Mm -hmm. It came out of nowhere. Yeah. And we weren't expecting it. So. What do you love the most about your track colors? Uh, just, just playing it live and just experience the feeling of what the song it's a, it's kind of just does a, to you when you play it. It's mm -hmm. a really, like, I mean, I'm sure it's different for everyone who's listening or everybody takes something different from it, but for me, just in terms of live again, like as a drummer, it's such a simple, like, hard beat, and it's, like, so continuous and pounding. It's almost, like, overwhelming to play it live, and when it's done, I'm, like, happy and excited that it's over in a way, like, okay, we just got through that. It was, like, kind of heavy the whole time, you know, mm -hmm. and not, no, you know, not more, some songs are more dynamic and mm -hmm. up and down, that one's kind of just driving the whole time. Yeah. Is there a specific track on the album that kind of pointed you guys towards the direction that you wanted to take with it? No. I don't no, think so. The album kind of came, came about just uh, by doing like each, like a song by song kind of thing. It's, we didn't really know what it was going to be. We just kind of went through uh, what work we had and just kind of randomly just kind of show stuff and then it all started fitting together and it okay. just went, yeah. We made a point to kind of stay true to what we did on the, the EP, which is kind of when we first met, which is just to try something different on every song and not kind of go into a specific formula. So a lot of, you know, the, so the songs, the album spans a lot of different genres, I think, but it's still a group love sound. It's still the five of us playing it, playing it together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what part of your sound was, was it like, a particular sound or an instrument or like what is it about your sound that without it would not be a group of song? It's the individuals in the band. Yeah, it's the sum of all parts. Is like everyone is very unique, uh, you know, to one another. We're not. We all kind of grew up in different places and different backgrounds, and um, I think that sort of informs everyone's individual style of playing. And somehow, even though we all have a different tastes in music and stuff, that sort of diversity coming together, I think, is what really defines it. There's no one particular, like, uh, s sonic uh, quality that I think, it, you know, points a, a direction. I think it's just the fact that, you know, we were five different, very different people that, in most circumstances, would never have ended up being in a band together, but only this weird coming together and creep could have actually caused it, and, and so that sort of informs the sound the most, I think. When you went back to listen to the songs on the album, were there any that surprised you, either in a good way or a bad way? Uh, like, w once everything was done? Mm -hmm. Once everything was done, you went back to listen to it. I think slow it, it always... Uh, that doesn't surpri not surprise me so much as I just get excited to hear it, because I feel like that was, a, in, pr in particular, the most... Um, uh, kind of left field that we went for compared to what we had done before is very fully electronic and I think Hannah in particular kind of grew in like while she, her vocal performance like kind of developed while we were doing the song and she found a side of her voice that she didn't know she had before so that that always makes me happy to listen to just as like the producer or just I don't know yeah to hear that like an artist like a, a singer or artist like get to a place I haven't been before, like, during the recording is super exciting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And it's cool, too, like, certain songs in the album, um, I get you on a photograph, I had a really, like, early demo of, like, a crappy sound and kind of demo, and then you don't really know what the song's going to become, and then we go through this group love process, and it becomes so awesome, and everyone's, like, input makes it so much better than I ever could have imagined it, hearing it, so it's really surprising to hear kind of old work. Uh, re or like, you know, it wasn't that crappy of a demo. He's being modest. It was awesome. And yeah, was I heard that melody and I was freaked out. And I always said before, because I had heard it uh, 
when we were doing the EP, and I was like, Christian, we got to do that song at some point. We just never got to it, and then it was the first song we get we did on the album. I was like, we're doing it. Yeah, yeah it wasn't crappy sounding. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it's gotten, I, I always had trouble with that song, with the arrangement and stuff, and then bringing it, it like, exceeded my expectations. Right? Mm -hmm. So it was cool. What would you say were the biggest challenges that you had to overcome? Cho choosing okay. what to put on the album. Everybody has so much material to, to work from and so many ideas, and, and again, like we're such different writers and players, and uh, so it was hard to sort of narrow everything down and, and really, like, Say okay, we want it to be 12 songs. We don't want it to like, you know, drudge along and be you know an hour and a half album. We want it to be something that people can listen to and want to listen to again. Um, and that's that's a really like delicate balance I think is finding like what songs you want to put on and what you want what you have to leave out ultimately. Mm -hmm. That was that was difficult and I don't know. Eating right, we ordered a lot of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> How do you hope to progress from here? Just continue, continue to, you know, be honest with songwriting and, and on our live show and just to have fun. Still, and still super early yeah, days. Still you know, we, we're enjoying like just the the first album coming out. So yeah. to progress this soon is maybe a little premature. Mm -hmm. We like to kind of sit and enjoy this, you know, uh, climax of the journey and the album release and tour on it for you know at least another year or something, and then. And I'm sure as that time goes on, we're going to grow and write more and just naturally progress. I don't think we need to overthink it how we want to progress, mm -hmm. though. Yeah. What do you hope people take away from listening to your album or seeing you live? Uh, I was feeling inspired, I think, especially the last show. Um, you just have so much fun on stage, and we beat off each other in the audience. Um, the case of playing last night was such a circular kind of like giving and receiving from both parties mm -hmm. that everyone was just drenched in sweat. And, you know, so we remember a good night because, you know, it's only an hour of music, you know, you know sharing with people. And on, yeah. the, on that, listening to the album can be anything, you know. I, I, we all take different things from the songs, you know, just individually. I think, you know, it could be just a f really fun thing to put on and, and drive to and picking up music, but at the same time, it can someone can, you know, take a lot of emotion out of it. We just got an email, actually, the other day from this really sweet girl who's, who, whose dad had just uh, passed away from uh, lung cancer, I think it was, and she, you know, when he got diagnosed, her and her dad share a lot of music, and she just discovered the song together, and she would listen to it every time she was visiting him at the hospital, and she emailed and she said, even though every time I listen, I would fall into tears, it somehow like uplifted me and made me happy. So like that's way deeper than anything I ever could have imagined yeah. taking from the music. I just enjoyed playing it, you know, and, and working on it. So it can be so materialistic and fun and extremely meaningful as well to someone else. Mm -hmm. Do you think that hearing things like that is the best part about making music or is it something else? That was one of the most yeah. amazing things I've ever yeah, I've ever experienced. It is when your music you know, connects with people and so many different levels. But to be a part of that in any way is unbelievable because, you know, it's way beyond what, not maybe beyond, but just so different and so, you know, so much more uh, heavy than anything I ever experienced with, with the track. And so, to, but, but to hear that someone had that experience made me then feel that, you know, that same kind of sensation mm -hmm. and to be a part of that is amazing. What's the last thing that you say to yourself before a show? We don't. Sorry, so we say it to each other like good show. You know, we pat each other on the back and encourage each other. Yeah. No, not no real ritual. We just warm up and make sure we're ready. Try to get kind of silly yeah. as well, just to loosen Shake up. It out, yeah. yeah. Stretch a little bit. Yeah. Drink a ton of Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, we don't get too crazy. We save a lot of our energy for the show, so we can not allow it before. Any final thoughts? Anything to say to the readers of popularity? Come see a show, yeah. I guess, yeah, if you haven't yet. Um, we love coming to Canada. We've never been to Vancouver. Yeah, it's the first so. time.